Back in the day, portable consoles had dedicated versions of games. Say there was Need for Speed Most Wanted on PS2 and PC, and then Need for Speed Most Wanted on DS. And the GOAT of these portable consoles, the PSP, really was absolutely stuffed full of them. And some were really good. So today we're checking out the best racing games with their PSP versions. Starting off with the best racing game of all time. I think I, I think we would agree on that, right? Need for Speed Most Wanted, 510. Oh my god. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna say it. It doesn't look that bad. <laughs> It doesn't look that bad in the slightest. Now, I remember this game being particularly odd to play, especially with the PSP's analog stick. For any of those that don't remember, it was a little nub that slided. And it, it was... They made do with what they could. But Need for Speed Most Wanted on the go. And now the fact that we can play it on, like, Steam Deck at a million FPS if we wanted to is kind of quite like the, the proper one, the PC version. Bro, what the... I'm still terrible at taking shortcuts. What's my mouse button? That's my handbrake. <laughs> Bruh, what? The nuts and blunts right next to it. So anyway, it was a portable version of Need for Speed Most Wanted. It wasn't Need for Speed Most Wanted in the same way. Oh! In fact, I don't recognize any of this map whatsoever. <laughs> and the funny thing is, back in the day, if, if I bought a PSP version of a game, I would have assumed it was basically the exact same thing. Mostly, though, I was on the PS2, so... <laughs> but I'm going to lose this damn race. No. Oh! Oh! The car sounds might be terrible, <laughs> but you know what? Visually, it doesn't look too bad. Yes, I'm up it like eight times because I'm playing it on PC, but let's go! No! Holy crap, these cops are more aggressive than modern Need for Speed cops. Ah! It's the PSP! What the f <laughs> Come on, take the TT. At least take the TT. There's no damn chance I'm being beat. Buy a TT! Something they used to do on a lot of games like this is take the old map, reskin it, and say, oh, look, it's a new game. Like, the route was the exact same. So anyway, I wanted to show you the whole setup. So this is the main menu, music plays and whatever. We can go through, actually, multiplayer, career mode, which is actually pretty interesting. We jump to career mode. It's actually got the blacklist, which is pretty damn cool. So it's got the mass Wait, you may enter this chapter. Hey, I'm ready. So you've got the races that you must complete to partake in the blacklist. And I've got to say, I didn't really finish this game. I don't think I played very much of it at all. Like I played the PS2 version. So I was like, why would I bother with this one? But it has lap knockout screens, things like that. This is actually something I'd love to see in modern Need for Speed. The route layout, because I can know, all right, I can pick this particular car because that's quite a high speed route. There's definitely things that these games do better than even the modern Need for Speeds. Oh, this is my car, by the way. <laughs> it's a little uh, something. How do they get that effect that <laughs> AI is fantastic? However, I'm doing all right. I'm not doing too bad. How is the reflection quality on the car higher res than the actual game looks? Why was that a thing? <laughs> it had progression. It had customization. Clearly, you can tell by my Nissan Skyline right here. It had the pole. <gasps> Almost right my damn car off. It had the police. And apparently they're actually pretty decent. Please leave me be. <laughs> Please. Can you take them out? I can't remember. <laughs> it still had the pretty sick cars like the Carrera GT, the Gallardo. You've got the Ford GT. Pretty cool. So if I jump into the Cobalt, because that's what I have. Uh, I don't have access to anything. I leave reverses back. <laughs> jump into model. I got visual and performance upgrades. So let's jump into the visual quickly and have a look. See as to what we can actually... We can't see them unless we have them. But for the PSP, it's, it's not bad, is it? It's not bad. Still, though, you can play the proper version now on portable devices very, very easily. I might be one of the only people in the world that cut the music. To think LA Rush is genuinely one of the best racing games I've played in my childhood. One of the coolest things about this is the music genre that you can set. The fault is hip hop as it should be, but you got techno, rock. That's pretty cool. It would be nice to see some like radio stations in Need for Speed or like, just any other game. I turned that, I turned, I said music off. As much as I genuinely think this may have one of the best soundtracks to have ever existed in a game ever. So we got Stunt Arena, Multiplayer, Quick Race and Story Mode. Story Mode is of course where I want to be. And oh my God, they actually have the full story and cutscenes and stuff. <laughs> So this is by far one of the best in that it is genuinely the full game. Hey, yo, how'd this here go-kart get past security? What do you call him? Come on, tell him. Tell him. This go-kart got us started on our way. Won us our first 10 Gs. Yeah, you right, fam. 
back in the early street, still mom, no hope. And then in the story, it progresses a little bit later. Two weeks later, uh, you arrive home and you've been robbed. <laughs> Hey, yo, it's Need for Speed on Battle. Anywho, it, after that, it's literally the full game. I love as well that the main guy is called T throughout the game. Also, there is supposed to be a road, you know, emulator problems. So this is LA Rush, but uh, I'm playing. Mate, the, <laughs> the road is just completely different. That's so annoying. <laughs> So to me, this game, one of the most memorable things you could do is go under a truck, just like they did in the Fast and Furious movie. Something iconic to this game is that they actually had West Coast customs in the game. You could turn up here, go and upgrade your whip, get some performance upgrades. Pimping costs, absolutely. Let's pimp this ride. <laughs> it was pimp my ride if it was actually a good game. I think I titled the video after, I don't know, just noted the plate says trick. as well. This 240SS goes extreme. With the ED Yo! type M1 kit, needs most slip differential and R2 to adjustable It actually suspension. looks pretty Maybe good. You'll... Ignoring that, you know, the, the road is completely missing. But this is definitely a game you should check out. I would play the PS2 version. The PC version does exist. It can brick your computer with the DRM. So um, it's happened to me twice. Oh, the blue dots around the map. That's the police. Are you kidding? <laughs> the idea of the game was to get your rides back and win a race tournament, get money, get your money back. And honestly, it did such a good job. There weren't just races in the game as well. There were escape missions once you got access to your cars where you figured out one of them were. You had to like run and you were being chased by a bunch of bad guys. This is definitely a game I need to do like another, just a full let's play on at some point because uh, it, I feel like so many people missed out. I, I feel really bad the fact that the, the road textures are missing. Uh, trust me, it's a good game. And it actually seems like it's the prop, just the full game. I like how my car's idle is just gone. <laughs> Moving on, because I'm not showing it in the best light. I try my best. <laughs> test Drive Unlimited. Now, I don't actually know much about the first Test Drive game. It's kind of where I gotta be honest. I didn't really play it. I jumped in at Test Drive Unlimited 2 because again, I was poor. Also, I didn't have a xbox i feel like it was bigger on xbox I don't, right anyway start start game i've got a feeling this might be similar if not the full game the game wasn't exactly um super demanding passengers for flight 6814 to honolulu are asked to please present it's got to be the full game right <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah it might be <laughs> what is this frame rate no you kidding me you couldn't leave it unlocked for the sake of, you know, emulation later down the line. Come on, man. Right, here we go. So we got a What? Oh, this is rent. I was like, what the hell? No wonder falls is like it is. So you can rent a ridiculous high-end car. Let's go with a Viper. Absolutely. Uh, time? I guess, I guess. I don't have enough time. Your itinerary is being recalculated. So I've got an hour to use this beautiful machine. Man, the frame rate is hurting me. There's probably a patch for that, right? It's probably just, you know, locked. Oh, it's got decent sounds. So once again, if you don't understand what Test Drive is, it's big map, uh, very, yes, <laughs> American <laughs> is what I would say. But the fact that this was on PSP and actually the handling seems better than Test Drive Unlimited 2 already. Let's jump in. All right, we got a race. I got this, I got this. Look at that modified. Wait, the heck? Wait, 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 wait. Customization? Oh, wait, wait, it's just a GTR version. I'll take it back. I don't, I don't know if there is. But anyway, test drive on PSP. Actually, doesn't seem too bad. That's pretty cool. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Take him off the corners. It's like real test drive. Also, since we're with the Dodge Viper badges there, that looks horrendous. <laughs> That's not real, is it? Did I have a first person view? No, no first person view. I mean, fair enough. <laughs> you gotta cut corners in some place. <laughs> if I had gotten this, I'd have been pretty happy with it. Even if I had played the, the PS2 version. It's pretty good. At least we can see the roads, unlike the uh, LA Rush Theo. And uh, yeah, uh, we won though. We won as well. That's good. We did good. So now we need to purchase our own set of wheels. So cars for sale for Ford, Ford Mustang. So it shows you what we can afford. Wait, where did we just get 150,000 from? What the hell? 
Uh, Saturn Sky Roadster. I like the sound of that. I don't actually know what it is. Alfa Romeo. No, I, I do want to actually arrive. So let's go here. Oh, it, it's right down the road. Look at that. So we drive in. We enter the dealership. It's the Saturn dealership. What does Saturn even make? I don't remember. Oh, you don't walk around, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. So we can purchase it. Let's do it. It's 30 grand and we can buy it in red. I like the red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've got 150 grand. Why did I have to buy this? Do I have to buy a house maybe afterwards? There you go. Drive to a realtor and select a house. So it was a proper test drive experience. I like that a lot. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is quick. Why does this feel quicker than the Viper? <laughs> Hello, realtor. Very American. Select a house. Remember, you can buy more luxurious spaces when you... All right, how much do... What do, what do we get for 100,000? That's a decent house for 100K, yeah. And look at that, it's just down the road. Fantastic. And I realized I mapped the triggers and completely forgot that I could just do that. 100K for this? In this beautiful location? And a d d d four car garage by the look of it? And no walking around. What a disgrace. What a Forza Horizon. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's move on. Midnight Club LA remix with the Dundee Lion song. Ah. But of course, Rockstar absolutely just killed this franchise, which is such a shame. Such a big shame. Everyone loves Midnight Club. Who does it? So this is LA Remix, which was the PSP variation of it. And you have two careers, LA and Tokyo. And I've never experienced the Tokyo one. <laughs> I don't think I have anyway. So this is one of the reasons I have this game on my GPD. I'm a little bit further, but I'm playing through it because I, I want to do Tokyo. It's got a career mode and actually runs really well. I am quite impressed. So I'm imagining this is very similar to the actual version, but nonetheless, your car looks awesome. Everyone else's maybe less so, but who cares? It's all about my car. And everything feels great. Like it feels good. I can't believe it. <laughs> Genuinely, the pacing seems to be jumping a little bit every now and again, but I don't know, the way it drives, the way it feels is pretty good. I think that's what I'm most impressed with with this game. I definitely need to put more in because it feels good to drive. You can still do the popping to the side thing, do a little bit of a skid here, excuse me. And you've got a smaller map by the look of it, uh, at least from what I remember. But hey, progression, good driving, good hand. I need to put more time in and get to Tokyo. Of course, we're going to check out a race, see exactly how it is. I see his front wheel spinning in that lower. Yo! He figured out the launch. Oh my God, it's got the draft. Wait, what's the button? <laughs> That's not the button. It's, it's square. All right. I got it. Let's go. And of course, the races in this game were a little bit different because, well, the red light races, because you kind of just race point to point with going any route you possibly could. Now, the game being a bit smaller is kind of hell from this situation because I would have absolutely no idea where the hell we're going. Thankfully, it's pretty small. <laughs> I think I made the turn correctly. Oh, maybe not. Maybe, uh, maybe I should. Oh, it's fine. He's, he's going to have to turn, and start, turn around as well. What if we just go straight through? No, 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 no. Let's just go this way. Pull a Franklin on a... What the f... <laughs> Are you joking? Come on! I have been absolutely had. Martin, you are a dirty, dirty man. That's kind of disgusting. <laughs> I'm not happy with... for everyone. You should see my mom behind the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, we will be back on this one for sure. Welcome to Burnout Legends on the PSP. This is so good. Right, music off, please, because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's Burnout, the old style of Burnout, in where you just go to events, do the race, unlock the next race, go, go, go. We're limited to compact cars at the beginning, but we've got three options. Let's go for contact, compact type three. And it is essentially Burnout on the PSP. And I'm going to be honest, it actually... So my favorite Burnout game is Burnout 2 Point of Impact. That's straight away what I feel... This reminds me of right at the beginning. I feel like the crashing is going to be a little bit crazy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, and the flame looks so good. And I knew the NOS button straight away. You know what? I'm going to say, I think this track is actually from Burnout 2. It fully reminds me of that. Oh, God. Yeah, and it had the, the, the Burnout sliding in place in a way that Burnout 2 just didn't. It feels a little bit weird about like rock music playing in the background <laughs> in this game. Yeah, this is literally Burnout 2. Oh, I'm so happy. I need to play more. What the f bro? It's quite funny. When you tap the brake, the car wants to start drifting. <laughs> Just no matter what. Close track making it one of the best looking PSP games I think I've seen today or maybe ever. <laughs> when you make a game close track, 
you don't have to create stuff outside the area. You don't have to pop stuff in, pop it out as much as you do. It's like track races always look so good. It's magic. Bro, what the? Die! Ah! The damage is obviously not as good considering the fact that, well, it's a PSP game. <laughs> Why are they applauding me? I don't even know what I did to be honest. I mean, I, I kind of don't know where the finish line. Oh, it's right there. I wish there was a map and like a more exciting speedometer. But of course the screen was limited. And so you know, these games, they were mashing them out every millisecond. But essentially it's burnout, as I say, on the PSP. You've got trophies for taking down and you've got some extra races around the world to do. Wait, is that crash mode? I think it's got a crash mode. You can also just do single events, world tour, multiplayer. I forget how many PSP games had multiplayer. I never ever played multiplayer on PSP, except local multiplayer. I don't know, it's kind of weird to think about. Did anyone actually play online on PSP? I'm sure they did, because they kept doing it, but ah, so now we're in crash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, bruh. Best thing about the old Burnout games, the crash mode. Incredible launch there. <laughs> Either way, I I don't really remember this. This crash mode. <gasps> no, I don't! <laughs> crash breaker! Impact time, let's go backwards. I've already buggered it. Crash mode on the PSP. Could probably render about three cars at once, but I'll still win the event. <laughs> I got I got. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? <laughs> Gold. So, burnout on the PSP. They did a pretty good job. But what about juice games? Juiced Eliminator. I love Juiced. It's probably one of my all-time favorites. Huge inspiration for Unbound, I feel. It's got a slightly modified career mode where you just, you have the calendar, but it's just a cross like this rather than the actual event calendar. But it's very similar to the actual thing. In fact, some of the screenshots and stuff you see, it's all from the actual PS2, like the proper version of the game. It's got the full customization in here that you could do just like on the PS2 version. This is a good port. And it, I actually completely ignored this until recently. I only, re only recently tried this game. And again, I seriously regret it. Are you telling me I could have played Juiced on the go and I didn't? What the hell is wrong with it? Again, now I could play the actual full version of the game, but the steering still kind of... We'll get there one day. <laughs> Let's see if I can enter this race and win it. Pro probably... Oh, it's just me. Maybe it's a time trial. That would be, <laughs> that would be fine. Let's get it! It's got the same horn noise at the beginning. Right, we're gonna figure out all the buttons. The sounds remind me exactly of the actual thing. The controller input is by far much more playable than the PC version <laughs> of the game. Anyone that's tried to do controller input on this game, you'll understand. It's painful and it's such an unfortunate thing. I think there's ways to fix it, but I just haven't put the time in yet. Also, how would it play on a wheel? This, anyway, was kind of inspired by Need for Speed at times, inspired by Fast and Furious. I personally think, so this is clearly based on the first Juice game. The first Juice game is the best. The second one was a little bit left field, and then we, we never got any more after that. So, you know, that's the handbrake. I fully meant to NOS there. Do I have enough time to, uh... <laughs> what is the NOS button? Ah, I found it. It's R1, just like it was in the last game. Bro, I just... <laughs> the finish line was right there! Something I really liked about this game is that you actually had to pay to repair and refill your NOS. I don't know why that sounds like a, a good... It doesn't. It sounds like an awful thing to do. People always say, oh, I wish we had petrol stations and race games. I do not. That does not sound fun over and over again. But something about you, you had to think about the fact that you had to replenish all your liquids. I don't know. I, I thought it was pretty cool. Wait, did I win nothing? I just won. I don't think I won anything. <laughs> uh, to show you how old this game is, have a look at the uh, mobile phone. We can call these people. You can change your phone to any new, new number of Sony Ericsson's and Siemens phones. Siemens phone. And you can go to the dealership and buy some... Um, some, some hatchbacks. There were definitely better cars, but early at the beginning, it was a proper grind. This is actually a really good one still to this day to play, I think. But uh, once again, you can just play the PC version now on a portable very, very easily. You can probably play the PS2 versions on your phone. <laughs> if you didn't know, you, you should, you should already know. It is, my friends, Gran Turismo on the PSP. This is the first time that Polyphony made a game that wasn't like a full game experience is that how it's supposed to to play that video i think not this one was pretty cool there is limited things to do in the game unfortunately it's not a 
full Gran Turismo experience. It's probably more in line with Gran Turismo Sport, except that this is a car collection from the PS2 and PS1, considering the fact that the car models probably look better than the PSP could ever handle. <laughs> if you jump to the dealership, you've got, well, today's dealers. Okay, that's... That's really annoying. But you've got quite a lot of cars in here for a PSP game. It was probably the best game in like collecting your vehicles. So for example, we've got, look at this sexy beast. And for a PSP, these car models look amazing. But now they just couldn't do it on a portable because the car models are way too good. <laughs> the single player was basically an arcade mode. Uh, what you've got is, what well, location, set the race, single race, drift race. I actually had drift race. Eat that, Forza Motorsport. <laughs> I'm actually going to jump into one of these drift trials. I've never done a drift trial. Absolutely never. We could also do it in a Bugatti if we want to. Look at this car list. Look at this car list. We've got bloody Vauxhall Corsa. Wait, that's a T Tigra. What the hell's a Tigra? Then you set your tires. Let's just keep it on sport and see if I can actually drift. <laughs> this is going to go terribly. It's just one of those. If you had a PSP and you didn't have Gran Turismo, it was kind of weird. Like, what are, you do what are you doing? Oh my God, it's got the interior view, which is fully blacked out. It looks good. I'm properly impressed. Yes! Oh, that's a drift right there. <laughs> Ignore that, I've got traction. Is that traction? I've got traction control on. I got th like three people clapping for that. Thank you so much. <laughs> but genuinely, looks really good for what it is. Again, now we can emulate Gran Turismo 5 and Gran Turismo 6. I got 70 points, baby. Oh yeah, where's my handbrake? <laughs> oh, no, I got more. Finish. Don't boo me. I got 609 points. <laughs> but genuinely, even on, on like the little portable PCs, you can now emulate Gran Turismo at like 60 frames. I don't, again, it kind of makes this game a little bit pointless in that way, but pretty impressive overall. Gran Turismo, a lot of cars, and overall, a great thing to have, portably. I really wish they made a Vita one. I do not understand why they didn't. And by far, my favorite PSP racing game to ever exist, EA Media Center. Did you know the Media Center has plays their own songs to make custom playlists? What an incredible feature. The PSP, it was like the PS3. You had it as a media device. You could load music onto it and play your own custom music. I remember doing it in this game. You couldn't do that on the PS3 for most games. So the reason I love this so much, it was by far the, the best spin-off Need for Speed, portable Need for Speed to ever have existed. It had a separate career mode. These are the characters genuinely love this so much of the like games that exist outside of the norm there's just no question i would say this story is better than <laughs> some triple a need for speed games look at this oh shouldn't say that word anyway look at that crap from the start so this map as well super super cool map i gen it just it's such a good game they, they had some proper cool supercars. You had the Mercialago and stuff. You had boosts. You had crews, just like you do in Carbon, where they can help you and assist you into winning races. You've got the map here, which shows you exactly... You, you might recognize this map. Let me know in the comments if you kind of recognize the layout a little bit. You could just jump straight to the events. I like the option to do both. Do it in the free row or do it on a menu. And I, I have to say, like, I've got a dedicated video on this game from a couple years ago. Need for Speed Carbon on the PSP. I highly recommend you check it out because of the story, the campaign, everything. This is genuinely one of the games where I'm like, a lot of people probably missed out on this game. And I kind of want to do a, a video just playing through the damn game because it deserves it. It's such a great game. It actually also looks pretty good. I know it's not Need for Speed Carbon looking. It looks more like a most wanted game. And it, a lot of things in this game look a little bit more like a most wanted game, but is that anything to complain about? Absolutely not. Then we got most wanted 2012 on, on Vita. This is still better. <laughs> Stuff that game. People rate that thing highly because it was, you know, the actual game ported down. That's lazy. We got a dedicated custom new story, new characters, new progression, not related to the main story. And overall, really good handling for considering. Again, you're on this little nub of a, <laughs> an analog stick, which honestly was the worst thing about the PSP. <laughs> the amount of cramp you would get from using that. I ended up just using the D-pad for most games. That's something that the Vita fixed, but you know, the Vita then failed and everything else. One thing this game did have from the actual Need for Speed Carbon, well, was actually the music. The music was all from Carbon, from memory, but there were some Carbon bangers in there. So you actually got to enjoy the Carbon bang. 
It was good. Let's look through the cars. We've got Mazda 3, Mercer Lago. Mercer Lago was the best car in the game that you could get. The Gallardo is right underneath it. The Kuro GT. Oh, Kuro GT was also good. Good car list. Good car list. Oh my god, it's got an R34. What the frick? <laughs> anyway, there you go. Those are some of my favorite games with the PSP versions of it. Have I missed any? I know there's a driver game that I'm kind of tempted to check out, but what do you call it a racing game? I don't know. Overall, my favorite games on PSP were probably Liberty City Stories, Vice City Stories, and a bunch of these that you saw today. But anyway, let me know yours down in the comments and check out these if you're interested in more videos.